Hey there, Scrappin' Friends. It's Yvonne Gaybauer here, uh, one of the members of the Scrappin' with Flair design team. And Scrappin' with Flair is an online um, scrapbooking supply store based out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And she's got these amazing kits every month that she does up uh, that we get to play with. And so this is some of the stuff that we've been working on over the summer. The summer kit was um, uh, from Basic Grey and it was the Plumeria line and this has just been such a fun uh, kit to work with. Um, I tell you, I think I've used just about every piece of paper, not quite, I've kept a couple aside uh, to play with. But anyway, so this is a 6x6 six six, um, chipboard album that I did up um, using a lot of the stuff from the kit, some of the stuff from my own stash, but I'll just go through it here for you real quickly. So what I did is on the, on the cover here, I added a little chain with some of the um, charms or trinkets here from my own stash and then this little um, clear piece or was a clear piece was actually part of the add-on kit uh, with the scrap and the flare and basically what it was was just a clear chip or a clear um, uh, trinket that you could add whatever you wanted so what I did was I just glued a piece of paper to the back of it from the kit just to give it some uh, some depth itself on the on the project so on the front cover um, I've created a little bit of a, a card that you can open here. Now on the front of it we've got a little scalloped um, journaling spot that comes in the kit as part of the um, uh, kit you get. It's um, got, and also it's got a flat back pearl on it and this string of bling which I absolutely love because it's so much easier than sticking those little suckers on one at a time. I gotta tell ya. Anyway, so this opens up. You can put a picture here, you can journal, you can I guess do whatever you want. Um, the little wee teeny butterflies are so cute um, off the sticker sheet. Then what I did was I actually took my X-Acto knife and I fussy cut around the flowers that were on this page. Now the little flat back pearls that you see in the butterflies in here are just from my own stash. They don't, they're not included in the kit. But I added a tag here and that is uh, paper and the flat back pearl from the kit. And this little pull top at the, at the top here is actually one of the stickers that I stuck on the front and then, of course, fussy cut because that's just what I do on the back. So you can tuck that in there and then this tucks underneath the leaves there and everything just sort of sits there all nice uh, waiting for somebody to do something with it. So you can put a title on the front of this if you wanted. You could put a picture in there. Um, yeah, whatever you wanted to do. Ink the edges with, uh, I believe, the picked raspberry um, distress ink. Uh, pad. Now on this page what I've done is I've created a little photo spot here. This is some of the design paper again and then this little um, edge I'll just kind of zoom in and see if I can show that to you. I don't know if you can see it or not but um, it's um, at the bottom of your 12 by 12 paper there's always those little scalloped borders that are down there. I never throw those away. Well, I hardly ever throw anything away but anyway. Um, so I actually cut out the bottom little scallop piece and added that to the top of the um, of this page and then this bigger piece here is from the larger 12 by 12 set just love the way that kind of flowed up so what it is again fussy cut around it and then what I did was I took a couple of the little pieces and made them the tops of a couple more tags that you can put in and you can just do a little bit of journaling on or whatever but I love how they tuck back in there and they just kind of look like they're part of the part of the um, uh, spray coming up here pretty cool I thought um, at the bottom here is another sticker that comes with the kit with a flat back pearl. These two resin flowers are actually from my own stash from close to my heart and I just thought that they, the colors match so good so I had to stick them on there. On this page here we've got again another piece that I fussy cut out. Um, so just this little scallop piece is cut out of a different piece of uh, paper. The, um, a place for a photo and then the butterflies is a border that's on the sticker sheet. Here's another tag that I created, and again, there's um, uh, another sticker that I used as a pull top with a flat back pearl. <clears throat> and then these three strips of paper, because like I said, I don't throw anything away, um, were just sitting on my desk, and they were kind of sitting almost like that. And I thought, hmm, that would be kind of cool on this page, so that's where they went. That's how that got there. Um, they were just sitting on my desk staring at me, telling me not to throw them away. On the next page here, what I've got is this is another one of the um, embellishments that is included in the kit and what it is is a piece of acetate that I left open at the top so you could stick a um, here, I'll just grab a tag here you could stick a photo in there or a 
little drilling spot, whatever, whatever you, um, whatever you like uh, on that one. And then again, because I never throw anything away, I had these two pieces of paper sitting on my desk. And again, I'm looking at them, thinking, hmm, those would probably make some pretty cool little um, uh, pockets if I just fussy cut around the zigzag, which is what I did. So made a couple of more tags to fit in there. Um, again, these are stickers from off of the sheet. This is one of the sparkly flat back um, pearls. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Um, so again, there you go. I got a couple of tags that you can tuck in there. Uh, journal on, put a picture on, whatever your little heart desires. Um, and then the little sticker, the little sign down there that says, um, uh, what does it say? Something special, I think? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that cute? I love that. So it's just stuck out on the bottom. On this page is another spot for a picture. And then a bunch of the little flowers that are out of the kit. Now, again, because I don't throw anything away, I love to fussy cut. I'm going to show you what I did here. I know I'm crazy, but hey. Um, so you'll notice, I'll show you on this flower here. What I did with this flower is, it's actually the outside portion of this one right here. So what I did, because it's a sticker sheet, this little edge was still on was the negative portion, I guess. So I took my scissors and cut around this little wee narrow piece, stuck that onto a different piece of paper, and voila, I got one, two, three, three more flowers out of uh, that sticker sheet. These butterflies up here, I'm just going to scoot this page down, this one, this one, and that one. Again, all the negative from my sticker sheet. Oopsie, wrong way. Oops, sorry about that. Taking a little bit of a ride there. Um, so again, cut out the negative, that little strip, put it on a piece of pattern paper, and three more butterflies. I'm just so smart, I know. Um, anyways, strings of uh, pearls from my own stash. This one kind of fell off its little spot. But uh, anyway, so yeah, so that's that page. A little bit of a flower cluster there just to add some interest to that page. So this one here. Now on the front of your paper packs, there's always the... Um, it shows examples of what the pages are on the inside. And I got this idea from one of the other design team members, um, Kiki, off of our, our team. And um, just thought it was a fantastic idea. So what she does is she actually keeps them and cuts them out and uses them on her layouts. So that's exactly what I did. So I cut them out, glued them, or matted them onto different colors of paper. Here's another sort of postage stamp uh, sticker that I used and then attach them to the front of this um, page. So then I'm looking at my table and I've got all these scraps of paper and more pieces from the front cover that show what's inside. So I'm looking at these thinking, hmm, I'm going to make myself a little bit of a little mini book inside the mini book. So that's what I did here is I just <clears throat> took a bunch of them, some of them I tore the edges, added another one of the little trinkets that comes in the kit, added a piece of paper to the back of it again, and uh, yeah, tuck that in there, and you've got another little, you can either journal in there, or add more pictures, or whatever. Then onto this page here, another one of the die cuts that are in the kit, as well as this. Now here's something I wish I hadn't done on this album, but it's done so, yeah. Um, like, um, uh, uh, what is the saying goes? Um, oh, what's her name now on my other group? I'm sorry. Um, anyway, she always says, um, uh, do it once and it's a mistake. Do it all over the place. It looks like an effect. So that's what I decided to do after I started. I didn't really like the pink on here, but it was done. I couldn't take it off. So there you go. Um, anyway, so yeah, these are die cuts that I did some stickles on, and then I did some of the liquid um, pearls on there as well. A strip of lace that comes in the kit. And then what I did is I made a little bit of an accordion. A little mini photo album that opens up like that. Pretty cool, hey? Pretty cool. Some more of the butterfly border, and some more of the ribbon that comes in the, in the stash. Love this stuff. This green ribbon is just, oh. So you can flip it this way, and place for yet more photos or more journaling, whatever it is you want to do. So it's kind of a scary looking face now, isn't it? It kind of looks like a, I don't know, like an Indian tribe mask or something like that. Anyway, turning the page. Um, another place for a picture. A um, couple more stickers. So with these stickers, what I did, because I didn't want them to be lay flat. So what I did was I just did a bit of a snip. And I'm probably not going to be able to catch this on, on the camera, but we're going to try anyways. 
But anyways, what I did was I made a little bit of a snip. I guess you can sort of see it right there. And then I just twisted these or pulled them together to bring this up in the center and glued it. And that just gives it a little bit more dimension. I did it to both of those. So what I did was I, first of all, stuck these stickers onto a piece of darker um, cardstock and then raised them up a little bit. And the same with the butterfly, I took that sticker and put it on the same darker, because this one has a little bit more contrast on this um, on this light page. Oh, and that sentiment, I gotta, sorry, I'm gonna zoom back in here again. Come on for the ride. Okay, I picked this up at the dollar store in their dollar fifty bin, and I tell you, I have used this stamp so many times that I just love it. And it says, I thought of you today, and a smile landed on my face. Love that, that is just so cool. Okay, so here's another um, little tag that comes in on the sticker sheet again. I just matted it onto a piece of colored cardstock and fussy cut around it. Um, took my dried marigold ink pad and just sort of distressed the front of that just to give it some, uh, just to sort of pull it into the orange on the rest of the of the page there. This uh, page, so here's another um, piece of paper from that um, from that uh, set. It's kind of wild and funky, but what I did was I cut around sort of randomly around these honeycomb designs just to give it a bit of a, a shape on the edges. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So yeah, just to give it some fun. So I did it all along the top. So the top's got this zigzag edge and then all along the side here and then the bottom again. It's all cut out um, just to give it an interesting border. The chipboard letters are in the kit and I just colored them with my distress markers and I think what are these? Tumbled glass and the purple Concord. Crushed Concord? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. And another one of the um, uh, postage stamp stickers that again I put onto a piece of cardstock and, and raised up. So another place for a picture and uh, that's all good. Back page kept it pretty simple. So took my um, milled lavender um, ink pad, inked around the edges, brought it in a little bit, put one of the flowers from the sticker sheet and then the, the letters, or the numbers I should say from the sticker sheet as well. Now they didn't have enough of, there's two different colors of the stickers and so they didn't have quite enough of the same colors and I just grabbed my, um, one of my Tim Holtz markers and I'm sorry I don't remember which one of the colors and just colored it in so it would match because otherwise it was white and it didn't really show up on the on the chipboard album but um, anyway so there you have it is my little album that I did up um, I know that Leanne still has some kits available again I'm going to put that link on the bottom of the page um, check it out it is awesome it's a wonderful wonderful kit so much fun to play with and I'm going to really quickly here show you just some of the cards I blogged these but just in case you missed the blog as I'm sure none of you did but could have happened um, okay so what I did with this one, again, I had some pieces, random pieces, laying on my desk and looked at them and thought, hmm, why couldn't I collage these and make a card out of it? So I did that, added a half of a, um, a doily here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can zoom in to show you that doily or not. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, colored it with, um, I think it was the bundled sage and the milk lavender. And this is one of the Ion Roses sprays. I tell you, those flowers have got to be the best to use. They're just gorgeous. I love them uh, from Leanne's store. Um, and there's that good old saying again. Told you I use it a lot. And then this is one of the um, uh, spellbinders. I think it's a spellbinder. I got it from my mom, so I honestly don't know. Um, little um, frames that I that I cut out and then just inked. Added some flat back pearls to it. Inked the edge of the sentiment with the um, bundled sage, and I think the inside is done with. I'm not sure now, um, but anyways, the outside is edged with the um, bundled sage. But again, this is all done with papers, um, or most of it anyways, papers from that same kit. Here's another one that I did up. Um, one of the butterflies from the kit. Put some bling on it. Uh, a few layers of the different colored of pa colors of paper. And I get some more of that awesome lace. I just love the lace that she puts in these kits. Um, Celebrate stamp is out of my own um, stash. But um, another simple little, uh, little card for, for somebody. And then this one is got so many layers on it, you can hardly even tell what um, paper it is anymore. But it is, the background is uh, an actual stamp that I picked up on sale at Michael's. Um, 
and just loved it. But the back of it, it's all colored with my distress inks that I got from uh, Leanne's store. And I believe I used the Vintage uh, Photo, which is my go-to brown color. I just, I love that. And my Broken China. Two of my favorite colors that I use oh, all the time. This actually is the edge of one of the 12 by 12 papers. And it looks like a border, so I cut it out and then tear, tore it. Tear it, I tore it and added some lace in behind. Now the lace is from my own stash. It didn't come in the kit. The I Am Roses roses, of course, come from Leanne. Gore oh man, I tell you, aren't they just gorgeous? Flatback pearls are from my own kit. And then this is one of the tags from the Spellbinders um, Fancy Tags um, set that I just put on there and pop dotted it up. And the bird, again, I just stamped it again, cut it out, colored it with my Distress um, inks and um, put her on the top there. So, yeah, all sorts of fun things you can do with this kit. So, thank you very much for stopping by. Check out Leanne's store. It's, um, it's got, she's just got some amazing stuff there. And check out this kit. You will not be disappointed. It is so much fun. So that's it. Signing off now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.